Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay, welcome to the class. Vamos a esperar siempre unos minutitos para que los demás se puedan unir a la clase y pues poder continuar. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Welcome to the class. Estamos esperando que los demás se unan unos minutos. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice. Welcome to the class. We will wait just one or two more minutes for the other people to come into the class. Very well. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you? Fine. Nice, nice. Bueno, vamos a iniciar entonces. Uh, la primera pregunta siempre es respecto a la plataforma. Todos estamos ya haciendo ejercicios. ¿Hay alguna pregunta, duda con la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yo tengo una consulta. Dígame. Fíjense que voy por eh, 1.2012. Okay. Y no me, no me agarra ninguna respuesta. O sea, solo de las cuatro preguntas, solo me agarra dos. Y ya puse todo, signos, mayúsculas, según la lección que, que, que se dio. Mm, ok. Me dice que es la 12, déjame ver. Crearía que es la 1.11, ¿verdad? 1.12. Ajá, la lección es la 1.11. Bueno, yo tengo, si es de la 1, tendría que ser la 1, 11, let me, let me check. A ver, déjenme revisar. Eh, bueno, le voy a mostrar acá. Sería esta parte, ¿verdad? No. Ok. Porque la siguiente es. Es de, de yes or no question. And short answer would be. Uh -huh. Porque la 1.12 uh -huh. es esta. No, teacher, no me sale eso. Uno doce, esta es la uno doce que yo tengo, no sé si es lo que a usted le sale. 
Eh, no, no me salen esas lecciones, son diferentes. Qué raro. Está en... Let me check. No sé si yo estoy equivocado. Vamos a revisar. Preintermedio módulo 2, ¿verdad? ¿O es módulo 1? Módulo 1. Ah, ok. Déjame cambiarme entonces. Ok. This is it. Vale, ahorita la revisamos. Sí, a veces, eso me imagino que es donde mete las... Usted tiene que escribir la respuesta, ¿verdad? Tiene que digitarla. Yes. Ok. Acá la tengo. Okay. Dice que no me sale lo que usted me dice. Déjame revisar otra cosa. Okay. Vamos a ver. Para que lo podamos revisar. Creo que ahora sí me va a cargar bien. 12. Ok. Sí, acá está, esta es. Ok, le voy a presentar y usted me dice si es esa. Sería esta parte, ¿verdad? Yes, no long answers with B. Yes. Ok, vaya, en la primera dice, are you from the United States? La respuesta puede ser de varias maneras. Si usted se fija acá, puede ponerle no, coma, I am not from the United States. O no, I'm, la diferencia aquí es que lleva I'm, y lo demás es igual. Ok, luego sería Casi igual, I am no como I am not from the United States. Eh, bueno, hay varias variantes, usted la, la puede ir viendo allá. Pero no sé si así le, no sé qué error, o en todas le da error, ¿en cuál le da error? No, ya, eh, yo no le ponía United States. Ah, ok. En la, en la primera, ok. En la primera. Vale, la, la siguiente. Yeah, Go ahead. A mí me pasa lo mismo, pero en las cuatro intenté de varias formas y ninguna me la, me la afectó. Perfecto, lo vamos a revisar entonces. La siguiente tendría que ser, yes, she is from Canada. El asunto es de que como dice arriba, quizás lo que tenemos que tener cuidado es que acá dice, um, sorry, dice yes, no long answers. O sea que tienen que ser respuestas largas. A todas le tenemos que poner todo el complemento. Eh, y a veces se... Eh, solamente algo eh, a veces si usted no pone el punto al final no le acepta la oración exacto, tiene que poner el punto cuestiones así son bien delicadas en estas de las cajitas entonces okay. eh, sigamos viendo la dos que sería yes, she's from Canada she's con el apóstrofe hay que tener cuidado porque a veces en las computadoras hay símbolos que se parecen al apóstrofe y usted lo pone y se ve igualito, pero no es el apóstol. Y eso no lo, no lo agarra la respuesta. ¿verdad? Entonces, en la, la tres igual, ¿verdad? Yes, it is in the morning. O yes, it is. O yes, bueno, aquí hay varias maneras. Pónganlo largo. Yes, it is in the morning sería lo mejor. Y la cuatro, que es la última. Yes, coma. We are the same age. El punto. O cualquier variante de esta. Yes, we are the same age. No, we are not the same age. O sea, puede ser las variantes de yes y no, pero siempre con esa estructura. ¿Ok? Ok. Traten de hacerla así. Si alguno tiene algún problema, me escribe. Ya me puede escribir directo y podemos. Me manda un screenshot de, de cuál es el ejercicio. Y lo vamos a revisar, ¿verdad? Any other question? Yo tenía el mismo problema. Ah, okay. Yo tenía el mismo problema, pero creo que era el complemento, no, no lo estaba agregando, lo hacía corto. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, uh -huh. sí, en esta vamos a tratar de poner el complemento. 
Así, estas de las cajitas son las que a veces pueden dar algún cierto tipo de problema, pero es por eso, ¿verdad? Es porque les ponemos ahí un algo de más o de menos y eso hace, como es un, un formulario el que se llena, eh, tiene que ir en cualquiera de esas, de esas opciones. Eh, ¿Alguna otra pregunta con alguna otra cosa? ¿Alguna cosa de la plataforma por ahora? Situaciones. Bueno, lo bueno es que ya estamos trabajando. Eso es interesante. Ya estamos avanzando. La otra semana de mañana en ocho días vamos a estar revisando el midterm test. El examen de medio tiempo, ¿verdad? Y pues esperé ya que la mayoría estén por ahí para que vayamos entendiendo. ¿verdad? Mañana vamos a revisar toda la, la plataforma hasta donde podríamos ir, digamos la sección 1 y parte de la 2. Y la otra semana estaríamos terminando la 3 y el midterm test. Ok. Ok, my friends, uh, welcome okay. to everybody that are here. Uh, and uh, yesterday we were talking about WH questions and some other situations, right? Do you remember? Yes. Okay. So today we're going to do a little practice. We're going to do a, a little reading. Sorry. So I'm going to present you my screen. So we are going to do this exercise. Todos podemos ver ahí, ¿verdad? La pantallita y alcanzamos a, a leer. Okay. So this is. Yes. Perfect. This is what we're going to do. Lo primero que vamos a hacer es repetir. Vamos a leer. Yo leo, ustedes repiten. Uh, luego vamos a ver vocabulario, uh, new words. Luego eh, vamos a hacer el ejercicio que está por ahí abajo, de true or false. Hay que ir teniendo cuidado de lo que dice el, el paragraph. Y eh, al tener ya el paragraph, al tener ya todo listo, van a leer ustedes. Como es chiquito el párrafo, yo creería que rapidito lo leemos. Eh, tal vez la mayoría, tal vez no todos, pero sí vamos a tratar de leer, porque después tenemos otro reading. Entonces vamos a ir practicando eh, leer de una vez. Okay, so everybody please repeat. <clears throat> Rihanna is a singer. Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna is, is a singer. singer. She's from Barbados. She's, She's from, from Barbados. Barbados. But now she works all over the world. But, but now, now she works she all over the world. The world. <clears throat> She's 20. She's, she's 20. 20. 20. Oh, I'm sorry. There is another one. I'm going to repeat this again. She's 24 years old. She's, she's 24, 24 years, years, old. Old. years old. And she's very famous. And, And she's, she's very, famous. very famous. She has got a uh, big brown eyes and she's tall. She, she has, has got big brown, brown eyes, eyes and she's tall. tall. She has got a lot of hit songs. She has, She has, has a lot of, lot of hit songs. Hit songs. Um, umbrella. 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 Don't stop the music. Don't, Don't stop, stop the music. The Starbia. The Starbia. Et cetera. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. The, the songs, songs are, are so, so good. good that she has, has a lot, a lot of fun all over, over the world. world. They love her music. They, They love, love her, her, music. her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica. Rihanna's, Rihanna's mother is called Monica. Monica. And her father's name is Ronald. And, And her, her father's name is, is Ronald. Is Ronald. Very good. So let's do the exercise first, okay? Uh, uh, letter A is Rihanna isn't a teacher. Is true or false? False. 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 Okay, let's think about this. The uh, sentence is Rihanna isn't a teacher. True. That is true. 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 Because she's a singer. She isn't a teacher. 
Yes, it's saying, oh, yeah. Okay, so, because it's negative. Me. So okay. if, if it says Rihanna is a teacher, that is false because she's a singer. But it says Rihanna oh. isn't a teacher. That is true. Okay, good. Uh, letter B, Rihanna is Barbadian. True. True. That is true. true. Very good. Very good. Letter C, she isn't very famous. False. 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 Very good. Letter D, Rihanna is very short. False. 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 Uh, letter E, she hasn't got many fans. False. 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 And letter F, Monica and Ronald are her grandparents. False. 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 Good, False. good. Okay, now let's check some vocabulary. Uh, you know what is a singer. Uh, this, this one that it says all over the world. What is that? All over the world. En todo el mundo. Todo el mundo. Very good. Remember the pronunciation has L. La pronunciación lleva L. World. Okay, world. world. Si no le ponemos la L, ya es otra cosa. That's word. Okay. And then um, she has got brown eyes. She stole. Let's see. Um, you know what is an umbrella, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sí, creería que no hay más. Okay, let's do this. Vamos a leer entonces. Está pequeño el párrafo. Eh, lo voy a leer yo todo una vez. Cuando leemos, como en español, no tenemos que leer así bien flat. It's very important that part. Es como que estamos contando una historia. O sea, usted no, no puede leer así como que la segunda versión, no, 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 no. It's telling a story. La puntuación también es importante. So let's try to pay attention to these things. So it's going to be something like this. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has got a lot of hit songs. Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronald. So this is the way that we're going to read, okay? With intonation, with pauses and things like that, okay? So the question is, who wants to be the first one? Anybody a volunteer? Okay, Jorge Hernandez. Good. Vale, leamos, pues. Rihanna, he is a singer. She is from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old, and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes, and she's tall. She has got a lot of hit songs. Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica, and her father's name is Ronald. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Karen, you can continue, please. Okay. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has got a lot of hit songs, Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronald. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, it is Ramirez. Okay. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she is very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. 
She has got a lot of hit songs, Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's, Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronan. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Humberto, please. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbaros, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has a got a love of his song, Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she was a lot of fans all over the world. They have her music. They have her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Rona. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio. Rihanna is a singer. She is from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She is 24 years old and she is very famous. She has she has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has got a lot of hit songs, Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Historia, etc. The songs are very are so good that she has a lot of fun all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronald. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Juan Panameño. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she wore all over the world. She was 24 year old and she very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she tall. She has got a long old hug song, umbrella, don't stop the music, disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of us all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna mother is called Monica and, and her father name is Ronald. Very good, thank you. Fabiola. Fabiola is not here. Okay, Erling Laines. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She is 24 years old and she is very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she is tall. She has got a lot of singer hit song, Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica, and her father's name is Ronald. Very good, thank you. Jessica Aguilar. R Rihanna is a singer. She's, she's from? Barbados, but not she works all over the world. She is 24 years old and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has got a lot of, of hit songs, Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot, a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronald. Thank you very much. Joselino. 
Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has got a lot of hit songs. Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronald. Thank you. Um, Lilian Granillo. Okay. Rihanna is a singer. Uh, she's from Bar Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She, no, she's 24 years old and she's very formal. Uh, she has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has got lots of hit song. Umbrella. Do not stop the music, the Serbia, etc. The song are so good that she has a lot of fans all over world, over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica, and her father's name is Ronald. Thank you very much, uh, Gabriel Argueta. Mm. Rihanna is a singer. She is from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She is 24 years old and she is very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she is tall. She has got a lot of hit songs. Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father and her father's name is Ronald. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Cruz. Uh, Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all, all over the world. She's 24 uh, years old, and she's very famous. She has got the, uh, she has got different names. Okay. She has got a lot of hits. Umbrella, those of the music, historia, etc. This song, this song are so good that she has a lot of fun. Uh, all of the world. They love her music. Rihanna Mother, his father Monica, and her father made the honor. Thank you. Uh, Herman. Okay. Um, Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados. Book now. She works all over the world. She's 20, 24 years old and she's very famous. She has gold be brown eyes and she's, she's tall. She has got a lot of, of hit songs, Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturb, Disturbia. The song are so good, are so good that she has low of fans all over the, over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronald. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Kevin. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she's very famous. 
She has got green now. She has got green brown eyes, and she's tall. She has got a lot of hit songs like "Umbrella," "Don't Stop the Music," "Disturbia," etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Brianna's mother is called Monica, and her father's name is Ronald. Very good, thank you. Uh, Kayla Lopez. Hello. Not here, okay. Kathy Sines. Okay, good night. Good night. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all the, over the world. She's 24 years old and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she is tall. She has got a lot of of hit songs, Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbing, ETC. The songs are so good that she has a lot of, of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Rona. Thank you. Uh, Susie. Good night. Good night. Um, Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she every very famous. She has got big pro ace and she tall. She has got a lot of his song. Umbrella don't don't stop the music. Disturbia, etc. The songs are so, so good that she has a lot of fun all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna, mother is called Monica. Uh, her father's name is Ronan. Thank you. Uh, Vilma Lisette. Rihanna is a singer. She's from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has got a lot of, of hip song, umbrella, don't stop the music. Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna, mother is called Monica, and her father name is Ronald. Thank you very much. Um, creería yo que ya pasaron todos. Faltará alguien? Oh, let me check. Oh, go ahead, please. Read. Hey, teacher. Okay. Eh, primero entonces Aileen Rosinos y luego Edith. Rihanna is a singer. She is from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She's 24 years old and she's very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She has got a lot of hit songs. Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. They love her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronald. Perfect, thank you. I did. Okay. Rihanna is a singer. She is from Barbados, but now she works all over the world. She is 24 years old and she is very famous. She has got big brown eyes and she's tall. She, she has got a lot of hit songs. Umbrella, Don't Stop the Music, Disturbia, etc. The songs are so good that she has a lot of fans all over the world. 
she loved her music. Rihanna's mother is called Monica and her father's name is Ronald. Very good, very good. Creo que ahora sí ya leímos todo, ¿verdad? En general, muy bien. I really like the way that you read. Eh, todos leyeron muy, muy bien. Creo que en pronunciación quizás un poco de cuidado con world, que lleva la L. Uh, y con algunas palabras que empiezan con S. Por ejemplo, stop. Esa no es e, stop, stop. Pero en, eh, la mayoría, o sea, todos leyeron muy bien y casi todos leyeron sin errores. So that is very good. Uh, let me check. So this is another reading. It's very easy. Otro cortito. Um, this is a little bit different. Also, we have true false situation here. But by now we're going to read, okay? Vamos a leer. Y luego, primero vamos a repetir luego vocabulario. Bueno, vamos a hacer el ejercicio de abajo, vocabulario. Y luego leemos, pero como son tres párrafos, uno lee un párrafo, luego el otro la conversación, y luego el otro va a leer el último párrafo. So today is reading practice, as you can see. Everybody, please repeat. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am Susan Myers. I am Susan, I am Susan, Susan Myers. Myers. I am a reporter at Central News. I am, I am a reporter at Central News. Central News. And today I am making a report on immigrants. And today I am making a report on immigrants. immigrants. Today's guests are two immigrants from China. Today, Today guests are, are two immigrants from China. 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 They are Jane and Lee. They, they, they are, are Jane, Jane Lee. Lee and Peter Lee. And, and Peter, Peter Lee. Lee. They are students at the community college. They, they are, are students at the community college. At the community college. She is 19 years old and he is 20. She is 19 years old and he is 20. They are students, but they are not workers. They, they are students, but they are not workers. They, are workers. they live in an apartment downtown. They live in an apartment downtown. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? We are from the Guangdong province. We are from, are from the Guangdong province. Are you happy in America? Are, are you happy, happy, in, happy America? in America? America? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. We enjoy living here. Yes, we, yes, are. we are. We are. We enjoy, we enjoy living, living here. here. Dorothy is your real name, Jan Lee. Dorothy, Dorothy is, is your is real, real name, name Jan Lee. Jan Lee. No, it's not. It's dietia, and it means summer. No, no, no it's, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's dietia, and it's it means summer. It means summer. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you very much. They are two Chinese people living the American dream. They are two Chinese, Chinese people, people, living people living the American, the American, the American dream. dream. This is Susan Myers reporting from the community college. This is Susan Myers reporting from the community college. And tomorrow we will have more guests in Living in America. See you then. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, tomorrow we, will we will have, have more, more guests, guests in Living in America. In America. See you then. See you then. Okay. The first See thing that we're going to check is the exercise. Uh, number one. Susan Mayer is a teacher at the community college? False. 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 They are from Vietnam. False. 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 Peter is a student at Harvard. False. 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 Dorothy is 25 years old. False. 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 They live in the suburbs. False. 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 Okay, everything is false. That's good. <laughs> hey, let's check some vocabulary. Vamos a ver algo del vocabulario. Um, do you know what is a reporter, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, immigrants, let's see. China, Yang Li. 
community college. What is that? Um, Actually, college. Comunidad educativa, algo así. Something like that. Yes. Como una comunidad. Okay. College, uh, casi siempre, no siempre, pero casi siempre se va a entender como una universidad. College. Sin embargo, sí hay escuelas que le ponen college porque es como un colegiado. Um, es una cuestión de legalidad. Pero siempre que vean college, casi siempre va a ser universidad. Okay, let's see what else. Downtown. What is downtown? El centro. El centro. Very good. Let's see. Enjoy. What is enjoy? Disfrutar. Nice. Uh, it means summer. ¿Qué dice en esa oración? It means summer. Significa atardecer. Verano. Verano, verano. Very good. Significa verano. Uh, let's see. Creería yo que eso es lo más importante en vocabulario. Now we are going to read. Eh, como es algo largo, uno va a leer el primer párrafo, luego el siguiente la conversación y el siguiente el último párrafo. So, uh, remember that we are going to read with intonation. Teacher, and... teacher yeah. disculpe, escucho mucha interferencia. Hay un micrófono que... que... No me permite escucharlo bien a usted. ¿Será que lo pueden silenciar, por favor? Perfecto. Vamos a pedirle ahí a los compañeros que nos escuche mucho ruido, ¿ok? Vamos entonces a continuar. So, um, ok. Um, Jorge, you can start. Mm, ok. Good morning. I am Susan Myers. I am a reporter at Central News. And today I am making a report on immigrants. Today's guests are two immigrants from China. They are Jane Lee and Peter Lee. They are a student at the community college. She is 20 years old and she is 20, 19 years old, sorry. They are students with the Arnold Works. They live in an apartment downtown. Perfect, thank you. Uh, it is. Yes. Where are you from? Oh, go ahead. Where are you from? We are from Guangdong province. Are you happy in America? Yes, we are. We enjoy living here. Dorothy, is your real name Yang Li? No, it's not. It is Diex Diexia, and it means summer. Uh, thanks. You very, thank you very much. Thank you. Very well. Karen is next. They are two Chinese people living in the American ring. It is Susan Myers reporting from the community college. And tomorrow we will have more guests in living in America. So you too. Perfect. Thank you. Humberto. Good morning. I'm Susan Myers. I am a reporter at Central News, and today I am making a report on immigrants. Today, guests are two immigrants from China. They are Jane Lee and Peter Lee. They are students at the community college. She is 90 years old, and he is 20. They are students, but they are not workers. They living in apartment downtown. Thank you. Next is Karen Melendez. The uh, Berta. Yeah, the conversation. Yeah, please. Where are you from? We are from the Wandong province. Are you happy in America? Yes. We are, we enjoy living here. Dorothy, is your real name Jang Li? No, it's not. It's Day Xia, and they mean summer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next one is Jessica Aguilar. They, they are two Chinese people living in American dream. 
This is Susan Myers reporting from the community college. And tomorrow we will have more guests in living in America. See you then. Thank you. Next one is Juan Panameño. Good morning. I am Susan Meyer. I am a reporter at Central News, and today I am making a report of immigrant. Today's guests are two immigrants from China. They are Yang Li and Peter Li. They are a student at the community college. She is a 19 year old and he is 20. They are a student, but they are not working. They are living in apartment in downtown. Thank you. Next one is Fabiola. Bien, well, um, Susan, um, where are you from? Uh, Peter, we are from the Gundog Provincia. Um, Susan, are you happy in America? Uh, Dorothy, yes, we are. We enjoy living here. Um, Susan, Dorothy, is your real name Jane Lee? Uh, Dorothy, no, it's not. It is Dai Sia, and it means summers. Oh, Susan, thank you very much. Thank you. The next one is uh, Herling Lainez. There are two Chinese people living the American ring. This is Susan Myers reporting from the community college and tomorrow we will have more guests and living in america see you then thank you the next one is jorge antonio good morning i am susan meyer i am a reporter at central news and today i am making a report on a immigrant today's guests are two immigrants from china they are Jane Lee and Peter Lee. They are students at the community college. She is 19 years old and he is 20. They are students, but they are not workers. They live in apartment downtown. Thank you very much. Next one is Jose Lino. Where are you from? We are from the Guangdong province. Are you happy in America? Yes, we are. We enjoy living here. Dorothy, is your real name Jan Lee? No, it's not. It is Dai Xie, and it means summer. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. The next one is Lilian Granillo. They are two Chinese, Chinese people living the American dream. This is Susan Mayer reporting from the community college. And tomorrow, and tomorrow we will have more guests in living America. See you then. Thank you. Next one is Gabriel Argueta. Good morning. I am Susan Mayers. I am a reporter at Central News. And today I am making a report on immigrants. Today's guests are two immigrants for China. They are Jen Lee and Peter Lee. They are students at the community college. She is 19 years old and he is 20. They are students, but they are not workers. They live in an apartment downtown. Thank you. Very good. Next one is going to be Carlos Cruz. Where are you from? We are from the Guantanamo province. Are you happy in America? Yes, we are. We enjoy living here. Dorothy, is your real name? Johnny, no, it's not. He's dying fine. I mean summer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, too. Uh, the next one is Herman. 
¿Quién se escribe? Uh, oh. they, they are two Chinese people living the American dream. This is Susan Myers reporting from the commun community college. And tomorrow we will have more guests in living in America. See you then. Thank you very much. The next one is Kevin. Uh, good morning at the top. Um, good morning. I am Susan Myers. I'm a reporter at Central News and today I am making a report on immigrants. Today's guests are two immigrants from China. They are Jane Lee and Peter Lee. They are students at the community college and she's, she's 19 years old and he's 20. They are students, but they are not workers. They live in an apartment downtown. Thank you. The next one is uh, Joselino, creo que no ha leído. Joselino. Sí, ya pasé, pero puedo pasar si quiero. <laughs> ah, vamos a esperar. Uh, vamos a ver. Keila López, creo que no ha pasado tampoco. No. Ok. Good evening. Good evening. Where are you from? We are from the Wandong province. Are you happy in America? Yes, we are. We enjoy living here. Dorothy, is your real name Jan Lee? No, it's not. It is Dai Sia. And it means summer. Thank you very much. Thank you. The next one is going to be uh, Kathy Sines. And they are two Chinese people living to American dream. This is Susan Myers reporting for the community college. And tomorrow we will have more guests in living in America. See you then. Thank you. The next one is Susie. Um, good, mo good morning. I am Susan Mueller. I am report of Center News. Um, today I am making a report on immigrants. Today, get uh, two immigrants from China. They are Chun Li and Peter Li. They are students at the, at the community college. She's um, 19. 19 years old and he's 30. 30. They are students, but the are not worth they live in apartment downtown. Perfect, thank you. The next one is Vilma Lisat. Where are you from? Where are from the Guangdong province? Are you happy in America? Yes, we are. We enjoy living here. Dorothy, is your real name Jem Lee? No. It is not, it is Daxia, and it may mean summer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Carla Yamilet. Okay. They are two Chinese people living the American dream. This is Susan Myers reporting from the community college. And tomorrow we will have more guests and living in America. See you then. Thank you. Uh, Jocelyn. Vaya. Eh, disculpe por el ruido. Ok. Pero... Good, good morning, ¿verdad? Yeah, please. Good morning. I am Susan Myers. I am a reporter at Central News and uh, today I am making a, a report on immigrants. Today, today's guests 
are two immigrants from China. They are Jane Lee and Peter Lee. They are students at the com community college. She is <coughs> 19, 19 years old and he is 20. They are students, but they are not workers. They live in apartment downtown. Okay, very well. Uh, falta alguien más? Será que falta alguien? No sé. Falto yo. Uh, Aileen. Sí. Okay, go ahead, please. I'm sorry. Where are you from? Where are from the Guangdong province? Are you happy in America? Yes, we are. We enjoy living here. Dorothy, is your, nea, is your real name Yang Li? No, it's not. It is Gaitsa. And it, it means summer. Thank you very much. Very good. Edith, usted ya leyó. Yes. Okay, very well. Okay, uh, faltará alguien más de reading? I guess everybody has read. Okay, so readings are very important because of many things. First is because you are going to find a vocabulary. Uh, almost always you are going to find one, two, three words that are new. So you can go and research. Okay, in los readings vamos a encontrar mucho vocabulario, palabras nuevas que podemos aprender. Eh, luego tenemos las estructuras. Es importante porque no es lo mismo ver una oración separada que una idea completa. Entonces, un párrafo es una idea total. Um, y en inglés, si ustedes se dan cuenta, hay una estructura un poco diferente. Van a ver más adelante, cuando ya estén allá por el avanzado, cómo cambia la estructura. Por ejemplo, para hacer ensayos en inglés, eh, hay una estructura específica para eso. Entonces, es importante ir conociendo la manera en la que escriben. Se escribe en inglés. Eh, otra es la pronunciación eh, y, por supuesto, la práctica. Yo les recomiendo mucho que lean eh, párrafos sencillos. Eh, vamos a ir avanzando con el nivel. Luego, pues, va a haber lecturas un poco más ricas en vocabulario y en gramática. Uh, para que ustedes vayan viendo también cómo va cambiando todo mientras, dependiendo del tema que se vaya uh, leyendo. Uh, igual pueden leer libros, yo les recomiendo que lean, pero cuestiones también no tan complicadas. Es decir, si se ponen a leer Shakespeare, Shakespeare tiene inglés antiguo, palabras que ya no se usan. Entonces, un libro sencillo o lecturas pequeñas son buenas y eh, se, se puede hacer también este tipo de ejercicios que son como true, false, o cuál es la respuesta para esto. Más adelante nosotros vamos a continuar leyendo, vamos a tratar de meter otras cosas, pero es algo que también ustedes pueden hacer en su tiempo, si quieren practicar, y si quieren ver la pronunciación, en uh, Google, si ustedes abren un documento de Google, un documento de Word, um, ustedes van a ver una opción que es para grabar, para dictarle al documento. Entonces, es interesante porque si ustedes van leyendo, eh, y escribe una palabra que no, no es la que leyeron, simplemente no se dijo bien, ¿verdad? Lo pueden poner en inglés, de hecho. Entonces, hay muchas herramientas para que ustedes vayan mejorando la pronunciación y vayan viendo ciertas situaciones, ¿verdad? como por ejemplo acá, vocabulario, pronunciación, un poco de gramática y un poco de pronunciación, ¿ok? Uh, son ejercicios muy, muy interesantes. Do you have any question about the exercises that we did today? No. No teacher. No okay. teacher. No eh, teacher. No teacher. Good. Questions about the platform? Do you have questions about the platform? Los, las personas que no estaban al principio, alguna situación con la plataforma. Todo está azul, blue. Ok, entonces me imaginaría que van a... Sí, me iba a decir algo usted ahí. Sí, solo... Confirmar de que he podido entrar bien y ya solamente estaría poniéndome al día con las, con las tareas. Very well. Mañana vamos a revisar siempre las primeras partes de la plataforma. Vamos a ver los ejercicios y algunas cosas. Ahora revisamos uno de hecho. 
Eh, pero igual, si alguno de repente tiene algún problema, me pueden escribir, mandarme un screenshot y yo reviso y les digo, mire, si le falta esto, póngale esto o algo por el estilo. O si no entienden algo de la plataforma, también me pueden escribir. Uh, y eh, igual, vamos a ir variando las actividades en la clase para que sea más enriquecedora para todos. Ok, si no hey, hay... Teacher, ningún... Go ahead, Carlos. Eh, sobre las respuestas que estábamos revisando al principio. Ajá. Yo le comento de que en las últimas dos respuestas, yo lo probé con las respuestas cortas y me las aceptó. Ah, ok, very well. Si sí, estaba viendo yo también que tiene cortas, no debería de porque dice largas, pero está bien. Si se lo acepta, that is fine, ok. Ok, gracias. Very well. Ok, any other question? Sí, eh, yo tengo un inconveniente en la... Sección 1, con la respuesta 3, no me la acepta. Sección 1 eh, sería siempre es el ejercicio 1, 12. Sí. En la respuesta 3. Eh, sí. Tendría que ser, por ejemplo, algo así como, yes, coma, it is in the morning, punto. Si usted no le pone la coma o el punto o hay algo allí que no vaya o que vaya de más, no se la va a aceptar. Puede ser, por ejemplo, yes, it's in the morning, pero hay que asegurarse que sea el apóstrofe y no un símbolo parecido. Sí, eh, yo ya probé y no me la acepta. También me la aceptó como negativo corto. También lo puede poner negativo. Puede poner, porque como es yes, no question, usted puede decir no, it is not in the morning. Eh, déjeme revisarle ahorita. La vamos a poner. O como respuesta corta. Yes, it is. Uh, let me just show you. Sí, porque lo que tengo acá es lo que les estaba mostrando anteriormente y sí, se lo voy a mostrar para que vea ahí cómo quedaría. Porque esto es lo que tenemos nosotros acá en la plataforma. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, las respuestas que están para la 3 serían... Uh, yes, it is in the morning. Yes, coma, it is. Yes, coma, it is. Uh, con minúscula también se la tendría que agarrar. Um, también negativa. No, it is not in the morning. Puede poner también no, coma, my English class is not in the morning. Cualquiera de esas variantes tendría que agarrarse. Si algo no está bien, borre todo absolutamente y vuelva a digitarlo y le da submit. Porque tendría que llevar algo que no está correcto. Bien. Okay. Okay. Any other question? No. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you today. I hope you have a very good night and uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.